Hey everyone, welcome to Yagnama Figure Reviews. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas here, bringing you another figure review your way. In particular, you guys know I'm still tackling the MCU, I guess, Spider Man No Way Home figures. I've done all those new figures. Go check all those reviews out from Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, you name it, the works, the Green Goblin, even. I think there's only one more figure I need to get my hands on, and he's coming out next month. So, Stay tuned for that. We're almost there. But as I, you guys can see, I finally got my hands. I decided I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to pick up Doctor Strange from Spider-Man No Way Home. He's not part of the way, but he's a part of the movie line, if you want to call it that. So I'm happy to pick him up. I haven't had a Doctor Strange ever in my collection. So this is a first on many ways. But I'm happy to pick him up for a decent price and bring him your way. And I'm to my personal collection. So... Like always, let's check it out together and see if I made the right choice. So let me show you the box art. You guys can see it's in the older packaging, which I'm happy about. I hope they go back to this. I think it's part of the Build-A-Wave, uh, is it Sasquatch or uh, Windigo? I don't know. There's pictures on the side there. Pretty freaking cool. Back. You guys can see. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Build a figure. Yeah. Well, who are you building? Armadillo. Correction, and those are all the figures you have to get, which I didn't. I didn't get Jay Jonah because he doesn't have the hair. I want him with the hair. It looks kind of weird when he doesn't have uh, that on his head, you know. But uh, like always, give the king a quick second, and I'll get Mr. Stephen Strange, Doctor Strange, out of his packaging so we can all see what the hell he looks like in the flesh. All right, guys, the king is back, so I'm gonna just show you these, okay? You get an extra set of fists here that you can change from the ones he has on. There's the Armandillo head scout. I'm not going to bother to take it out. So that's what you get. It's a two-layer thing. His cape comes separately, and you put them on him, right? And of course, I'll show you these things. These are look cool. Look at this, guys. It spells. It looks so good. Mine are not warped. I know a lot of people uh, had theirs warped, but the detail is phenomenal. The hands are attached, you know? There's the one, and then of course you get a smaller one. I'm glad they did two different sizes, you know? There's the little guy, okay? If you had to compare the two. Here you go, guys, look. Difference. All right? Happy? There you go. So that's what you get, and now the figure itself. He looks phenomenal, man. I, like, honest to God, totally happy with me picking him up. Wow. What? A difference. I think you guys are going to get a kick out of him, too. All right, guys. Here he is. Dr. Streven, Stephen Strange in the flesh. Look at that head sculpt, man. The detail. It's such a nice blue. It looks way cool. And it's not as light as you guys can see in the camera. But the detailing. And there's his fingers creating some sort of spells. There's his boots. His cape looks good. There's the tablet there let me show you the back okay the cape is so well detailed guys and don't worry i'll remove it just so you guys can see what's it all about so basically if you take it apart this got a little peg okay that little peg goes in the back right there so let me just take this cape off this is what the cape looks like on the inside it's nicely detailed it's a nice red you can't go wrong Pretty cool. I love it. And then, of course, if you wanted to see Doctor Strange just without it, and there's this little amulet. doesn't sit properly. I know it around his neck, but whatever. He still looks good. That looks like Cumberbatch, Benedict Cumberbatch, in more ways than one. I'm glad I picked this up, man. Let me show you the back. The detailing is so good, man. Like, very impressed, guys. Holy crap. Let me... uh Quickly remove one of the hands, just so you guys can see how the, the casting of the spell goes, okay? Because it looks phenomenal, man. Like, I'm really happy with this figure. I just want to bend it. There you go. I'm just going to bend just what it looks like, him holding him. Just to give you an idea, guys, quickly. Look at that. He's like... Casting spells. If you pose them in the right way, wham. I'm going to put the cape on and allow you guys to enjoy Stephen Strange on the round table. So 
One quick second. I'll be back. All right, guys. The king is back. Let's zoom up on Mr. Stephen Strange. Got him a little assistant there. He is a little bit top heavy, but for the most part, he looks phenomenal. So there you go, guys. That is my official Spider-Man No Way Home Doctor Strange Marvel Legends figure review. I hope you guys liked it. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other figure reviews, guys. There's going to be a couple more coming your way because the king will be taking some time off, just a little bit, a month, to deal with some surgery on his hands, and I'll be back better than ever. But don't worry. I'm going to try and blast out as many figure reviews as I can over the next several weeks. So tune in. The next one will be another Marvel Legends one, and it's going to be the Master of Magnetism. So there you go. You're welcome. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys where? Right here on Yagnama figure reviews. Take it easy and definitely be the hell good.